Hello and welcome. Today you will learn about the three basic light entities in the source engine. So I made a nice map here and there is the light entity, the light underscore spot entity and the light underscore environment entity. And we also have a skybox texture up there. I will talk about that a bit too. So let's start off with light. You can give the light entity a name you can change its color and brightness. Those three values there are the red, green and blue. And the last one is the brightness. You can just use the color picker if you want to get a nice color there. You can also turn on and off this light via inputs and outputs. So that's basically all there is to that light. It's very simple. I'll just show you how it looks in game here. It emits light into all directions, so I don't really recommend using this for your normal lights uh, because it might be good for a fire or something, but for normal lights you should use the light spot entity. It's very similar, you can give it a name, change its color and brightness, and um, the thing about this one is that it's pointed and you can change the width of the light cone. This gives you much more control over the entity than you have over a normal light entity. So you can get much, much better results with it. I'll show you how it looks with the basic settings. Just, yeah, looks cool. You will have to up the brightness a bit on this one because it's not as bright as the light entity, but yeah, it's easy to fiddle around with. And then we have the light environment entity. Now this is a bit different because uh, it doesn't emit light from the entity itself. It just emits light from the skybox texture. So instead you change the angles at which the light comes from the skybox texture. You see the pitch there is up and down and the yaw up there is uh, the rotation. The brightness is pretty much the same and then you have the ambient. I will show you what the ambient is here now. You can see the green light here, that's from the ambient light. It's basically the light that comes from the sky and not directly from the sun. It, so the light emerges from this skybox texture here. If you want to find it, just open the texture browser here. And then you filter for sky tool and you will get the proper texture there. And uh, that's basically all there it is to it. And this is just the basic light stuff you need to know in order to make your map pretty nice looking. I will go through more advanced stuff with light maps and such pretty soon, so stay tuned. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, send me your tutorial requests, and also don't forget to have a nice day.